Hello everybody, welcome to another video. So today we're playing on the Amiga today. As I see by the screen, we're playing a tremendous game. This is BC Kid, requested by Mr. Andrews Dublin. Sorry it's taking me so long to keep doing this video. Copyright 992, Hudson Soft, 1992, back to 5. Brilliant game, very long though, and very tough. But why not? Let's give it a whirl and see if you can do it for this video. But anyway, BC Kid, this is Morgan for James. Let's go. Okay, this is the game. This is BC Kid on the Amiga. Originally called Bolt's Adventure is a 2D platformer game developed by Red Company and Atlas and the first game in the Bolt series. It was released in 1989 in Japan and 1990 in North America for the TurboGrafx-16. The game was re-released for the TurboGrafx-16 in the US in 1992 on the Gate of Thunder 4-in-1 game CD-ROM. The game was later ported to NES, Amiga and Arcade systems under a new title. The Tomographic 16 version was later released on the Nintendo Virtual Console service as well as PlayStation Store. It's a brilliant game, really tough though, but quite a long game. But this is a long play I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Requested by Andrew Stablide, sorry it's taking me so long, but today I'm going to do it for you. A lot to see, a lot to do, and a lot to get through. Now we start the game off with two lives and three hearts, and all of those are upgradable over the course of the game. You can upgrade your heart two more times, but only two sections you can do it. But when you use a continue, you lose those two additional hearts. And lives. You get additional lives through score and also in lots of secret areas. This game is difficult. There's five worlds. This one is by far the easiest. This is called the practice. Now you can collect lots of items in this game, including meat. When he picks up some meat, a small piece of meat, it goes a little bit crazy. Pick up another small meat and it goes even crazier, making you invincible for 10 seconds. And when you're invincible, nothing will kill you. And this game doesn't have many bottomless pits. That's mostly the things that kill you when you're invincible in games. In fact, I can't think of any bottomless pits. There we go. Kill everything. Once it wears off, you stay in this form for a little while longer and then you start to downgrade. It also works as little hits. So how many pieces of meat you consume? will allow you to take another hit. Once you've gone back to your original form, then your energy will start to drain. This is the Highlands. So already it's starting to downgrade. Now picking up two small pieces of meat will upgrade you very slowly. Picking up a one big piece of meat, and you go from normal to invincible. Use them wisely. We have hearts. Use that to build up additional energy, or you lose it. One heart to pick up will finish one heart. Right, your score is at the top right. Like I say, you can earn additional advice to score. So many extra dice, but like Tarakun, they are very much hidden. There you go, we're invincible again. Now some enemies, not all of them, but some of them, when you kill them, they'll give you a token. Pick up as many as you possibly can, it helps with additional points at the end of each world. And points win prizes, in this case, additional lives. And you need them very much, especially for the last level. It's a very, very long and difficult level. Right, the power-up effects. When you eat meat, his powers increase. When he has eaten enough, Bob's head is as hard as granite. Uh, and when he jumps and dives, his head will cause a terrible earthquake, which will paralyze enemies for a few seconds. Again, depending on how much you've consumed, how bad the earthquake is. When it's... When they're shaken and not stirred, then you get a free hit in. Right, use the plants. Took a few hits there, but it's fine. Because we had the meat, we took additional hits. There we go, another one done. Right, this is Kickhead, and it takes players on the back of a Diplococcus, which is a dinosaur. Now, this is a demo I got in the old days, which is absolutely superb, but yes, this was actually the final level on that demo, even though it's not the last level in the world. But brilliant, it came with Street Fighter 2, which is a non playable demo, only a video. And a Bill's Tomato game. But yeah, this game on that demo, I played to absolute death. Really game. It still does look spectacular. Love the music to it as well. Right, we need to kill slugs and avoid spikes. Now, any fruit you see is a little bit of energy. Not much, but it's better than nothing. Now, in the old days, when I played that demo, it took me about five minutes to figure out what you've got to do here. You actually got to jump on his head to extend his tongue and then go into his mouth. You do this by. Jumping upside down and hitting him with the head. In BC Kid, you will have to stroll through five different worlds and more than 20 challenging stages to finish the game. You will need sharp reflexes and a strong nerve to destroy all your enemies. Always remember that your only weapon in BC Kid is his tough skull, but it'll be very, very useful. It is, it's always got. 
When PC Kid jumps in the air and dives on his enemies, there is not much they can do about his sturdy stone head. There are lots of collectibles, a lot of them are hidden. Right, now we're inside of that dinosaur. And they can also attack in the... I'm assuming it's blood. In his blood. And also, when you're swimming, there's no option bar either. And there's multiple ways you can actually attack. You do that diving attack, which is the most powerful. You can also do a headbutt, which doesn't do a lot of powerful damage, but it does keep you out of difficult situations with a lot of them around. And also, you do a little bit of keepy uppies, like we do in a game of football. So when you're in the air, you can keep jumping up at them, hitting them again. The more time you keep them into the air, the more points you gain. And there is a big, big piece of meat. And these are fish with no skin or scales. But there is a big piece of meat. And because it's a big piece of meat, you go from the extreme, and we are invincible. So even though we are swimming, we are invincible. Right, first secret. There we go. Not only does he have a very strong head, he does have strong teeth. Use teeth to climb the high ground. Now, this game does have additional bonus sections. I'll do some of them, but not include all of them, because otherwise this video will be too long. So we've got to avoid these things. Like that thing that appears on the back of your throat. Right. Good game, though. Right, points at the moment is quite low, but everything is good. We gain additional life from that secret. I don't know where all of them are, but I do, do know where most of them are. It's very handy, you earn additional life to score. Now I've got so much statistics about this game. But I'm going to try and see how we do. Five worlds, five bosses. How many of those tokens you pick up at the end of each world will determine how much energy is provided to you. But it's early stages, I'm going to be losing too many early lights. Right, we also break down the wall with our head. And do occasionally get the occasional energy. Right, we're going to boss territories. There we go. Produced by Hudson Soft, licensed to UBS Entertainment Software, sound support by Chris Helsbeck. Right, this one is the easiest boss of the lot. All we've got to do is hit him repeatedly on the head. I'm assuming it's some kind of helmet. We've got to break the helmet. Also, avoid the bubbles. Not quite as many bubbles as the game of Bubble Bubble, but they are dangerous. Hopefully, our energy will replenish at the end of this battle. Now, if you get him in the right position, you can keep doing that. Keep it going. Keep it flowing. There we go. It doesn't kill him. It releases him from his curse, whatever it is. There we go. Thanks for saving me. Not a problem at all. And I'm going to skip this to bring the length of this video down. What it will basically say to you is about banana trees. Use banana trees to your advantage. And of course, banana trees can walk. World 1 done. World 2 on the way. This is Caveland. New enemies, including dancing cactuses. And you cannot kill a dancing cactus even if you're invincible, you can't do it. But this level is quite long. A lot to see, a lot to do once again. We have three lives and three hearts. Now try and deal with one enemy at a time. Go too quickly and the screen be bombarded with them. Now take a few hits already. Now hopefully we can get some energy back. Now use these flowers. Now we have power item. We have hearts. The life gauge is increased by one heart. Fruit increases a small amount of your health. Crystal heart. Your maximum life level is increased. There is only two crystal hearts in the game. Small meat is a power bonus. Large meat is a power bonus twice as strong as a small bonus and it will make you invisible for 10 seconds. And a small bomb, which rewards you with another life. And I've only got three. A bit of keeping up ease? Why not? It helps. Additional points. Right, 9,400 what we have. And use these to get to the maximum height. Let's up at the right time. And reward it, hopefully, with some green peppers. And there's meat. Which increases the strength of your attacks. For limited time. This level has lots and lots of caves. Go in them if you so wish. Some of you can, some of you can't. I might include some. I want to try and get through this video today. Right. You're safe. Everything. Only last 10 seconds. It's over in a flash. Right. Lots of enemies on this world fly. And they are my worst. By an absolute long shot. 
Right, we're in down. Energy's good. And also, when you're invincible, not only is your power stronger, but also it makes your character faster. And do combos. Jump from one end to the other, and also you can hit them from below. In your normal state, it won't do a lot of damage, but like this, it'll do a lot of damage. And we are doing a lot of damage. Major what happens if you eat a big piece of meat. Down from a plant. Okay. Four lives. 11,150 we have. Keep yuppies gives you 10. No, it doesn't. 100 points for each keep yuppie. That doesn't happen in a game of football. Use your teeth wisely. Right, so that previous boss mentioned banana trees. Luckily this one has them. And at the right time too, because we have... Quicksand. And quicksand is never a nice thing. They won't start walking until you hit them. But make sure you hit them and they go in the right direction. It's much easier to go high than it is low. Now the flowers. You will find many flowers scattered through dinosaur land. They will hide a number of various options, items and bounce effects. The yellow flower. Use the jump in the air like being on a trampoline. The orange flower with green petals. You must jump on them to discover what bonuses they hide. Uh, orange flowers with orange petals. You must jump on them to get a piece of meat. There we go. And the blue flowers. The crystal heart is hidden inside that flower. And there's two in the game. Right, this is the falls. Difficult level because we have lots of flying dragonflies. Now that you've got a choice of route, you either go above the water or into the water. I think it's probably easier to go outside the water, personally. Even though we have lots of dragonflies. And they've got to be dealt with. Use these plants to advantage. But also, you can also climb up the waterfall. Right, we need some energy. Lucky there is some. A melon. There is some meat that do a lot more damage. You can also stun enemies in the air. Dragonflies are dangerous. Anything that flies in this game is dangerous. At the moment, I'm dangerous. They cannot go into the water like that if you are invincible. Wait for it to warn off, then you can do it. We can stun them. Even airborne enemies can be stunned. But these flying enemies, I think it's best, well, all of them in my case, make them make the first move. I think it's the point where I've been going along in the old days. I'm always jumping first. Let them make the first move. It makes it easier for you. What these things are, they jump out of the water. That should do more damage because we are not in our normal form. Okay, now some lives can be found underneath the ground, which you need to find them by hitting them with your head. Again, some I know, some I don't. Right, we're in a cave. Difficult area once again. Lots of enemies. Also, this one has a secret. And we like secrets. Especially when secrets provide you with additional lives. This one does. Now, I don't know what these things are going around the surface. I don't know what they are, but they are a handful. Sometimes it might look like there's only one of them there, but sometimes it'll be two. They've got to be dealt with. It takes one hit, though, in your normal state. Right, don't fall in the swamp. It's not an instant kill, but it will do some serious damage. Luckily, we can get quite a lot of energy back on this one. Slugs aren't so bad. Deal with those. Deal with those. And deal with that. So yeah, this world is a difficult world. It really is difficult. My enemies are not my friends. Why would they be? Okay, nice and steady. See, there was two there. We know it looked like there was one. Not they are either. Again, there's two of them there. Nice and steady. Again, there was two there. Right, so once you've found a hidden section, press up and you go into it. Four lives, it's about to be five. Press up. There we go. We're warning with a great big heart, a great big piece of meat, and a one up. So there we go, we are invincible and we have five lives. Now you take that onto the next screen. So we're still invincible, even though we're near the end of this section. You lost second kill, shall we? And the additional tokens it all helps. Every little bit helps. Okay, the desert. 
not a good start. Alright, 14,850. Five lives. Our hearts take a little bit of a hit. Now your energy does not replenish at the end of each stage. Alright, pterodactyls. Kill the man and kill the children. How bad is that? Right, jump from plant to plant, some sort of prehistoric plant, use it to your advantage. Watch out for the dinosaurs, even though I failed miserably there. But this is quicksand. Falling to quicksand is not a nice thing, but falling through quicksand, then getting impaled by a spike is not a nice way to go. Use banana trees whenever you can, whatever they are. There is one. Make sure you hit it first. Send it on its way. Now, BC Kid is a tiny, big-headed, prehistoric lad whose dear girlfriend has been kidnapped by a nasty dinosaur. To find her, you will wander through various worlds, including the stomach of a gigantic Diplodocus and other Delirious setups. Brilliantly converted from the PC Engine by Factor 5, the team renowned for Tarkin series. Absolutely brilliant game, but it is difficult, though. Okay. Do not fall into the quicksand. Don't instant kill, but if you sink too far, then that's going to cause quite a lot of damage to your character. Right, another banana tree. More dragonfly. I don't know what they're, don't know what they're throwing at you. I'm never really sure what they throw at you. But stay above here, it's a lot safer. It's safe to be above, it is to be below. The game's protagonist is Bonk, a strong and bald cave boy who battles dinosaurs and other prehistoric enemies. Bonk's mission is to rescue the Princess Zar, who has been kidnapped by an evil King Drool. It was a large green Tyrannosaurus Rex type dinosaur. In the arcade version, Bonk is also assisted by a female version of himself. Which I've never seen. In fact, this is the only version I've played. There we go. Meat. Rub a few gears. It's challenging. That works as a second hit. Not, no harm down there. Oh, that one was. Flying enemies are the worst. Set this on its way. Make sure it goes the right way. Stay up there. It's safer. I mean, down below, we'll definitely get a little more points. But it's definitely a safer option going above. Now, Bonk attacks enemies by bonking them with his large, invisible forehead. Bonk starts the game with three hearts worth of health, which are depleted as Bonk takes damage, and three extra lives. Bonk's health can be restored in increments of collecting fruits and vegetables. Now, fruits and vegetables do have different points. Some of them are 50 points, some of them are 100 points. And some of them do give you additional energy more than others. I think it takes about two, maybe three bits of fruit to completely fill up the heart. Right, five lives, two hearts. Let's get off this thing. I haven't found any additional lives underground yet. Right, it's next few levels. I might go a little bit quiet, because they are a little bit of banana skin for me. But this is the swamp. That's exactly what it says on the tin. Avoid the swamp. It's not an instant kill. You want to try and avoid it at all costs. Your cats can also swing on the ropes. But this level has lots and lots of flying enemies. But make them make the first move. If you can. It's doable. Otherwise that can happen. Right, not a good start. We need some energy. There's a carrot. That'll do. Not much, but it'll do. Better than nothing. Okay, grab those ropes. Jump at the right time. Avoid frogs. Now those mos those need to mosquitoes, but there are mosquitoes on this level. If they go off the screen, doesn't mean they're gone for good. They can come back. I'm gonna stay above as much as I possibly can. It's safer up here. Not for long though. Do get fruit. There's a lot going on here. You can do combos. Go from one enemy to the other. Try and not take damage. We got some carrots. Bugs Barney be impressed with that. Subtle bump. Those mosquitoes are quite small, which is good because it doesn't take a lot of hits to kill them. This is a different section. It always has been a different section. Use the dinosaur to your advantage. That was difficult. We need some serious energy, Jamie. Use the plants. Get yourself out of danger. At the moment, I am in danger. Right. Try to be 
can't see below. Blimey. This is difficult. Not a lot. See why I'm gonna go quiet on this one. Right, luckily no time limit. Use this dinosaur to get to higher grounds. Use the water. Let those bananas. Flying enemies are the absolute worst. With multiple of them on the screen. Not a nice thing. Right, frogs. I assume they're frogs. I assume that's a mosquito. And that's a melon. We are maxed out on energy. Oh, it's going well! 18,500 points we have! Right, we're near there. And please get this one out of the way. That is tough. And so is the next one. Right. To the top. We'll do just that. Not only can you count to climb up walls, you can also climb trees. And once you're climbing to the tree, pressing left or right, you can actually slide to the other side. I don't know what is the best path. Some ways is easier than others. Some will ward you more than others. Jamie, press up at the right time. There we go. Now again, if possible, let them make the first move. Let them jump into you. I mean, a normal headbutt like that won't do as much damage as a flying headbutt. Unless you've had a few pieces of meat, and that will change everything. Now these enemies couldn't throw axes before. They can now. Grab that side. Avoid confrontation whenever you can. At the moment, health is good. It's maxed out. Frog. I'm assuming it's a frog. It moves like a frog. It's a small bee. I'm assuming it's a small bee. I'm not percent sure what everything is, but I do like the artwork. Really well done game. And you can also hit those axes. You can also slide down the walls. Jamie, it's a hit, but there's wards. However, it's not always good for wards. Some of them do contain enemies. And I've played this game so much, I should know which ones are which. I think that one is an enemy, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I can get some additional points out of it. I don't know what they're called. It doesn't say it in the manual. I'm quite surprised. It's evil. That's all we need to know. Right, more vines. But once they're airborne, you can keep them there. Which is a good thing if it needs quite a lot of hits to kill. One of these levels, there is a secret life. It's around here somewhere. Right, Cloud Nine. This one's not so bad, but this one is very bouncy. But there is a secret life. Now you need the clouds to get to it. Now I might have to wait for this cloud at the top left to go around the loop. Do it well, and we get additional hearts. No, we don't. We get additional life, Jamie. Maybe even both, I'm not sure. Once you're on the cloud, you will keep there by continuously bouncing. It might look like we're jumping on a trampoline. We are trying to do it. Oh, it is energy. Right, energy. No, Jamie. No, Jamie. Life and meat. This level does have a lot of meat and a lot of birds. It's difficult, but it does reward you quite a lot. You get one piece of meat and you get another one immediately. Keep going. Might be invincible, but we need energy. Again, birds is never a nice thing in a game like this. Again, deal with them quickly. Okay. Energy's maxed out. Right, on the trees. Let's get some peppers first. 100 points for a pepper. Attack early. There's more meat in this than it is in the butchers. There we go, a bit small again. 
Not many, much left for this world. I need to get this world out of the way. But this one and the last one are the ones I've died on the most. Fine. Didn't lose any health for that. Right, we have our first upgrade. Bingo! We have four hearts. Even though the fourth one is not maxed out yet. Bits of fruit, and it will be. Now, if I were to use a continue, and hopefully I don't, you'll lose that fourth heart. Go. War meat. More crazy character action going on. Kill it. Go wherever you can. There you go. I knew there was one in money somewhere. There is additional life. Jump into it. Boo boo pow. Eight. There we go. Let's get this one out of the way. We've got a boss battle. Now, in the old days, this boss battle did give me a little bit of a hard time. I couldn't figure it out. I think I've got it now. I don't know what it is. Possibly a goat. Now one of them is real and one of them is not. Kill the real one. Now I think it changes each time. I'm really not sure. But this one's got quite a few phases. See that's fake. That's real. On this right hand side I think you are safe. See that's fake. That was the real McCoy. different each time. Yes, it is. Okay. Phase two. Can keep it going like that. Do all that eyeball. Assume it's an eyeball. Right, we're nearly there. Should do this. Energy's good. Life is spectacularly good. Bingo! Have some of that! Please with that one. Thank you, BC Kids. Not a problem at all. It's got to be a goat, innit? Hit the crocodile. If it catches you, we can count on you. Yes, crocodiles are mean. They can shoot your head, and you've got to whack on a joystick like we do in a game of Assassin, and you get attacked by dogs. Same sort of thing. Don't do it, you get consumed. You won't actually. But it will kill you. at level 3. This is Caveland 2. Unfortunately, I've got to get my paperwork ready. Now we have these dinosaurs that are quite similar to Bolt himself. And they take a lot of hit, which has been confirmed. So if you have meat, then that will definitely speed it up. Yes. It takes two of those. And four headbutts to kill one of those. A bee? Not too bad at all. In fact, bees are evil. I'm assuming it's a bee. It could be a fly. But yeah, whatever they are, they're always difficult in games, but if you keep them airborne, they can't attack you up there. I have you where I want you. There we go. It's a nice way of doing it. But again, if possible, get them to make that first jump. Make it easy for you to go for the kill. Again, some of these can go in, some of you can't. Um, like I mentioned earlier, quickly, always gets out of control. And when there's an enemy that takes lots of hits, you don't want too many on the screen at once. Especially when your energy can drain very quickly. Depending on what hits you, determine how much energy is taken away from you. There's meat. Now these will die a lot easier now. They also have very, very powerful skulls. See, that's half. It's gone from four hits to two. Again, I know you guys are thinking, go in the caves. I'm fully aware of the caves. Andrew Dublin deserves this long play, and I want to try and get it done for you. Right, we're invincible. Which is great. Those enemies not only do strong skulls, they do do similar attacks to what you do. If you kill them, do it. Interesting, didn't get stunned that we did that time. There you go, combos. There you go, boo power, some of that. So handy. Right, more birds. Now, again, it's taken me quite a long time to master these patterns, but I think I've mastered them now. They don't always float, 
fly up. They'll probably fly down first quite a few times, and then they go up. And that's when you need to go attack. It's not always the case. Sometimes they do change their pattern. But if you're aware of it, it's a good way to go. There we go. We've gone from basics to invincibility. Also, you're faster like this. And being faster means you can jump further. Great. How many birds did I kill there? More birds in the bird sanctuary there. Must be five. Also, stun a cactus. There we go. Stun them, then attack them. Mortal Kombat would be impressed with that. 34,100 points we have. Energy's good. It's quite difficult to see at times because sometimes the sky will blend in with it. It's difficult to see how much energy you've got. It's not far off maxed out. Uh, gone. Might be sleeping. Still dangerous. No, nope, can't go in those ones. You press up at the doorway. Even birds can be kept in the air. Like rats. No keep flying around. No. Is this, is this a doorway? No, it isn't. Get that attack in early. There you go, you're airborne. I have you where I want you. Fall like that. And that. Love the artwork. Love the sound effects of this game. Right, climb up. I shall do indeed. Fast. Earn a thousand points if you make it to the top. This is mess up a ball. I've messed that up many, many times. There you go, I'll take that. One thousand points, plus you get times fifty bonus for each. I'm assuming it's a meter. <coughs> a thousand points. There we go, it was your first bonus stage. There's quite a few in this game. Some of them use your jumping abilities, some of them use your attack abilities. And some unusual gliding abilities, you can glide by pressing the fire button while falling. And you can do it many, many times. You can you can glide. A lot. Right. Right, hop, step, jump. There we go. Press that button and then we get another life. Nine lives. Right, the North Pole. Bonk can also collect pieces of meat as power-ups. These lead to special abilities to make him stronger. There are three stages of power. As normal self, a second stage during which he can stun enemies by pounding them on the ground. And the third stage where he becomes temporarily invincible. Now another thing that's not good in platformer games is ice. Ice and snow. Now this one, again, like Adam's family, like Pan, you slide around all over the place. Now these things, like those crocodiles that I was warned about, also consume your head. And they have a lot of energy they've got to deal with. But yes, you use these ice blocks. That way that will stop you sliding around. And also, going up slopes is a lot more easier if you're riding a ice block. Now again, you don't want too many birds on the screen. But you slide, once you slide, it's difficult to stop him. This is the case in a lot of games. There's a slope nearby. 38,700 points is what we have. Use the blocks whenever you can, whenever it's available to you. Carrot. It's so challenging. Stand on there, it's safe. So it gets moved. So it makes moving around a lot easier. Right, need a block. Nice block. There's more ice here, this is the film Titanic. Right, again, you've got the option to go in the water if you so wish. Now these will throw arrows at you. They'll fire arrows at you. But another thing I've learned about them. I think I took a hit there. The one thing I learned about those characters is they don't turn around. They only face one way. 
Right, I'll leave them. I wasn't gonna attack them, but I'll leave them. We're invincible. Not be consumed by one of these. Not be consumed by anything, really, to back to Jamie. Yeah. So many of these. The more you progress in the game, the more they appear. Right, I've got another life. I've got ten lives. I'm absolutely delighted with that. I have completed this game a few times this week. The best go so far, I completed it with nine lives remaining. Still a lot more lives you can find. Why you know where they are? Right. But yeah, these enemies won't turn around. They'll fire an arrow at you, and then they'll wait a little bit longer to fire another one. That's when you got a chance to go for the kill of your own. But here is another secret. Again, press up. I don't know what it is, though. Right, kick all meteorites. Now, I don't think this is actually possible. I can get half of them, but I cannot get all of them. I just don't know if it's possible. You can't attack that quickly. But you do earn quite a lot of points from each successful hit. But also, taking a hit here yourself won't drain your energy because it's actually a bonus stage. This will hurt. Not hurt enough to take energy away from you. But it all helps. Every little bit helps, like I said earlier on today. Each hit is just points. Points mean prizes. Points mean extra lives. So there's one more additional heart to gain. There we go, 16 meteorites times 50, a lot of points there. Now the effects of meat is addictive to wear off over time. Eating a small meat while in stage 2 will also put Bonk into the third, invincible stage of meat power. When the third stage effect wears off, he returns to the second state and remains there for a while before turning back to the regular Bonk. Eating other sized meat in the third stage will power up and reset the timer of Bob's invincibility. There you go. Now, this game is great, brilliant fun, but difficult to resist it while doing it. But I'm trying one's best. I'm not going to go too extreme, even though I do have quite a lot of bits of paper surrounding my, my house. Here right now. now, these take three of those. Oh, a carrot. I'm worried about that thing at the moment. Now it will bounce off the screen. JB, too many hits. Um, let him go off the screen, that way he's away from me. Right, axes. Can deal with those. Right, they have unusual patterns, but there we go. Oh, he's back on the scene. You little rascal. Any lights around here? It's always nice to check. No, go in here. Boss territory. Angie's poo though. We might lose a bot. Uh, might lose a life here. We'll see. This one's difficult to take place on ice. Any bosses on ice is not nice. Again, I think I've mastered it, but it does not prevent me from taking damage. While you're still, it, you can jump into the air. Do that, but you've got to try and avoid his arms. Avoid his arms. The trouble is, when he puts his arms up quite a lot like that, it's quite difficult to avoid. So let's try and hit him. Oh, that head. There we go. Look at that energy. Oh, took one death though. I'm happy with that. I don't even know what he is. I have no idea what he is. Thank you so much. No problem at all, but what are you? You rescued me. Hiding ice blocks! Yes, it's handy! Makes fun! It does, it also helps you. Right, energy is terrible, but there we go, we picked up enough collectibles to extend it to the maximum it is. And this next world, I think, has an additional heart, the final heart. Right. Next level, this is another tough level, but I've got nine lives. Could have been ten, but I'm not surprised I died in that boss. I usually do. You've got to try and avoid his arm. The trouble is when he keeps doing that, it's very difficult to not hit his arms. You need good accuracy. Hit his head and avoid his arms. Right, big, big, 
Bond, is it a Bond sauce? No, it's a Triceratops. Now, believe it or not, judging by his size, it takes a lot of hits. I'm assuming he's the, he's the dad. Now, what you want to try and do here, keep him airborne. Once you hear that boom, then he's dead. Hitting him like that will take a lifetime. Love the music. It's like tension music. Keep you on the edge of your seat music. Right. Pterodactyls. They're not so bad. When it comes to flying enemies, they're probably the easiest one to kill, actually. Carrot. And one of these. Don't know what they're called. I was certain it would say it in the book. But it doesn't. Right. Pterodactyls. Do all of them. These will be the easiest enemies in the game. That's not a way to cheat children, Jamie. Right, go, go, go. Okay, two additional points. Why not? Spice up a little bit. Help up. Health is good. Health is brilliant. 7,750 is what we have. Now, unfortunately, you don't find out how many tokens you've got until the very end. But I don't think you earn additional points when you actually collect them. Only once you get to the end of the stage world, you then get additional points. And each one gives you a little bit more energy. Right. Your cats can jump very, very high. Guy that probably doesn't have headaches anytime soon. There we go. Some can take more. Right, more sand. More spikes. Sand and spikes and dancing cactuses. Use these to get the high grounds and then yeah, get to safety. Right, another. Three. Oh, flying birds. This is a typical section. Lots and lots of birds. More birds here in an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Alright. Alright, energy's not good. Birds. Trouble is, you're sinking. It's difficult. Right, that's another heart. Right, we've maxed it out, but look at my energy. That's what you want to see. Tree. I'm glad to see you, but energy is bad. It's going to be difficult to avoid these shots from the volcano. Tactic wise, I don't know here. Can hit them. Probably as it goes from big distances. Safe for now, but not for long. Stay high, get attacked by these. Go low, get attacked by those. Oh dear, down we go, it's fine. There's never going to be a 100% non-death playthrough. What happened, Jamie? We're going to do this, Mr. Energy Blind. Right, what is that? It's a melon. It's fine. Now also, any additional hearts that you gain, with it one or two, if you die and you have to respawn, it only replenishes the maximum of three originally, not those two additional ones. Right, boss battle. This one is not so bad, finally get a good start. Go. 
Uh, that was difficult. Once you get it, oh dear. Case it goes from side to side. Another death. Jamie, you're losing too many lives. Here we go, I mean, a meter of that again. Lights are fading. I don't want to lose any more lives. BC Kids, yes, hello, everybody. You are a hero. We're not done yet. Level four clear, five on the way. Right, final level, this is the most difficult, and it's a very, very long level again. And again, you can go with some of these doors. But again, there's also lots of secrets. Jamie needs to get a good start. Not all of them go in. Each one you do, there's more opportunities to gain points. Can go in. There we go. There we go! Heart! Extra life! Crazy! Bonk! Invincibility! Go! Go! If need be, we'll retreat and get what we miss. Get rid of as many enemies as we possibly can in the short time that we have as invincibility mode. Can we get one more? Yes, we can. Right, now we'll go back and get what we missed. However, a lot of these are bad. We've got a pogo stick in there. Ways. There's another one. Right, now these ones I'm not brilliant at. You've got to use the flowers to get to the other side, but collect as much fruit as you possibly can. If you do it, you earn additional points. There we go, boom and pow, please for that, I've got 27. I'm assuming you gain another thousand. A bonk can occasionally collect red heart power to refill an entire heart worth of health, or even more rarely, a large red heart which restores all bonk missing health. There's also two rare blue heart power ups in the game which will increase bonk's maximum health by one star. Okay, let's go. I'm pleased with that. Eight lives. So handy, you earn additional lives with score. That thing is hanging around. Can he jump up here? I don't think he can. I think I'm out of his. He can't jump that high. It's so handy, you can tap them from down below. Enemy. There's loads of here. They don't fire at you. It's a good thing. Right. Another one. Right. Flying is the best. Get ready. And what we're going to do here is keep pressing the fire button in the air and glide as much as you possibly can. They can use auto fire if you so wish. I'm not going to do that. I can do it a lot better than that, but that was 13. 13 times 15 is handy. A bonk in an enemy will typically knock it backwards and slightly into the air. Defeating an enemy yields points and also releases a small smiley power. Bonk smileys are totaled at the end of each world after defeating the boss of the stage. Player is given additional points and a caveman type congratulations based on how much smileys was collected. Again, not professionally read. Right, energy is maxed out. Brilliant. Probably another bad one, that one. No, it's not, it's a carrot. There you go. Time as well. Use the flower to get high and also get that hit. Like that. Won't kill him because when you're in this form, 
only does one hit, and these ones need two. Right. Trouble is, watch out for their attacks. You throw their axes. The early ones in the game don't. Alright, you feel like a lemon. There we go, another one. Right, more meteorites. Kick all meteors. Like I said, I don't think you can do it. I've tried many, many times. I'm sure there's a way of doing it. Nothing's impossible. But, I'll go for the basics. We'll go for half of them. At the moment we have eight dives. But energy is superb. Might get another life soon, depending on what happens. You don't earn it every 10,000. Quite a lot of you do. There we go. I think we did! Yes, yeah, got up to nine. Okay. This level is very, very long. So many enemies here. Again, I think there is another secret round here somewhere. And because that had an orange petal, it's meat. Stun them. There you go, I found you. No, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Never mind. I'm happy with nine. That's where the extra life is. Didn't know you can hit it while being the platform below it. Never mind. You win some, you lose some. This is the castle. Great stage, but again, it's challenging. Use those combos well. Another problem is sometimes you can't see what's below. And nine times out of ten, there is an enemy down there. Sometimes a lot of luck in this game. Just have it to fall. Fall at the right height to get that attack in. Because they get shot into the air when you hit them, sometimes that can help them because they take to the high ground. The high grounds can be difficult to reach. Okay. More birds. Again. <sighs> Challenging. See, sometimes they go down. It's never really an easy task. But eventually, they'll get bored and go up. Also, if you jump in them quickly, you can get that attack before they start to fly too high in the sky. Oh my god. Now at first I thought those were spikes. It might look like it, but it's part of the scenery. It's fine. No harm done. There we go. That doesn't happen in the Premiership. Keep airborne whenever you can, when there's a lot of them around. The trouble is when you hit the ground, you don't hit anything. It's an easy hit for the opposition. You're open to an attack. There they go, I've got to high ground. That's all that. And that. And that. That's more where that came from. Whoa! Go. go, go, go! Kill whatever you can! Also, there doesn't seem to be a lot of tokens on this one. No, I didn't use that wisely, did I? So this will allow you to take two more additional hits. That won't drain your energy. Until it wears off, and it will. So good. Trial and error, it's there, there we go, that worked well. So many! Right, water. These are the crocodiles that that boss warned you about. Keep clear, you can attack them, it's best to just avoid them. So we'll jump on the bones. So good, this game has no time in it. Game's hard enough. Oh, I'm going for it. There we 
go. Right, now we're going to the really tough areas. But this level is long, very, very long, very, very challenging. So many stages of this. Right, hold your breath. Luckily he can for a long period of time. Now the spikes at the top won't harm you. They're not actually technically spikes, but the ones below are. Again, I wasn't sure on the old days about this. I was always trying to avoid the top and the bottom, but you were well, safe at the top. Nine lights. Right. Now also, there is a hidden section around here somewhere. But then some of the hidden sections are just bonus stages. It's all, it's all well and good, but finally it's a bonus stage you're good at. I'm not good at all of them. Avoid those crocodiles. Once they bite you, they won't let go. Okay. Now they won't turn around, so hit them from behind. Okay. Okay, what do I do? And I believe you can hit those spears, like those axes. I'm sure you can. Facing the wrong way. Got quite a pew pew as you would have get in the shoot em up. Use that gap. When you're not pew pewing, use that gap wisely. Draw your headbutt underwater. Keep pressing up, otherwise you'll sink down. And uh, when it spikes below you, avoid that. Right, secret. I'm sure there is one down here. Yes! I've had a lot of practice in this game, and it helped, because I found so many secrets. There you go, more fruit and Sainsbury's and Tesco's. Right, on we go. Nine lives and energy is brilliant. Can't get any more better than that. I don't know what these things are. I really don't know what they are. Not so bad. Okay. Six, one, hit two. Probably the easiest section of the, uh, the level, a second, I'd say. Mm. Easiest section of this world. <sighs> now surely this is going to get done. Surely I'm not going to mess this up. But this next, I think, it's, I think it's the next section. Unbelievably difficult. Right, there we go. Another heart, another life, more meat. We are underwater, we are invincible, but only for 10 seconds. Now you can run faster when you're invincible. Swimming, I don't know, it might be a little bit faster. There you go, kill one, like that. It won't consume your head in that fashion. Right, it might look like boss territory. It's not. It just takes you somewhere else. Is it another secret? No, that'll do. Don't get too greedy, Jamie. Here we go. Right. This is probably the most difficult level. And again, like I said earlier on today, deal with one enemy at a time. Now, these take so much damage. And, uh... Yeah. We've got so many on the screen, because they take so much hits. And they're fast. So just an airborne if you can. I don't know how many hits they take, it's a lot though. That's one, two, three, four, four. Now each one of those it's the same amount of power as one of those. No, it's not. That is the power of two 
of those. So it will take four diving attacks, that means it's going to take eight normal headbutts. Now also, you can get them stuck in no sections. Now because they are quite difficult to master, even though it might look like they're trapped, but when you go off the screen, I'm not 100% sure if they can come back. So if they're trapped, I'm still going to try my best to try and kill them. The occasional one does fly. Keep him on the screen on his own. Not what they are, they're like a brontosaurus, but more of a chest face version. Two on the screen is too, is, is too, too many. You can go from one to the other. Quick time. There we go. I've not done this though without dying. I'm, tr I'm trying. It would be so bad if it didn't take quite so many hits. But the first time I got here, I literally just ran for it. And also, I did get here with three hearts. I lost. I lost continue. Oh, death when there was a heart on the screen. Never mind. That actually did work my advantage, I suppose, in a way, because now I've got four hearts rather than three. He is actually stuck there. Even when he goes into the air, he stays moving to that spot. They are tiny, but they are a handful. Those plants will shoot multiple bullets. And take one hit. No. Right, he's trapped. Good. I want him to be there. There was one time I got here and there was like four of them on the screen. I was fighting a losing battle. I was all over the place. Just hit that bullet. Oh, hit those bullets. Again, the first time I got here, I messaged Andreas immediately afterwards and I said, Mate, this level is so difficult. I didn't think I was ever going to get past it, but yeah, just practice, practice, makes perfect. Right, we're not done yet. I'm not going to read much more statistics. Right. Enemies that are bones. Again, we have bubbles. You earn points for each bubble you kill. Again, they do take a lot of hits. Skeletons, not the bubbles. You've got to get some accurate attacks. Get those plants. Right here, I always make the same mistake. Not today. Go for the plant first, then go for the skeleton. Once that scares and lands on top of that plant, you can't actually hit that plant without actually taking damage. Too shabby. Hands are shaking, guys. I have to play this before. This is a long play I want to do. Original hardware, no cheats. One heart remains. Right. Again, jump over him, plant first. Carrot, 
Then go for the kill. They might be small, they take a lot of damage. Right, I'm not gonna risk it down there. Go. That I'm pleased with. And that! I'm gonna leave him. <laughs> that was risky, Jamie. I don't know what you're trying to do there. I'm leaving them. I'm not gonna make any more attempts. Get through there. Right, more plants on the ceiling. The trouble is, they're too high to reach. Now this, again, has lots of enemies that are inside these plants. The problem is, you can't kill those plants. Not these ones, anyway. Let's take three hits. We can fire. Not as much as those. Those tokens will stay on the screen for a little while, and then they will disappear. Bad as well. It is. One at a time. Another death. It's fine. Going for it. Now that one you can kill. It's low enough. Such a difficult level. You're nearly there though. Right, the elevator. Like the final level of Tolkien. Be quick because the platforms will open. Keep climbing all the time. Again, there is a secret area on this section. If I can reach it. A few returning enemies we haven't seen for a while. Pterodactyls. These mysterious, I don't know what they are. Kill them one step at a time. Climb the bones. Eight lives. Three hearts, not quite maxed out yet. One piece of fruit will do that. But we have these, the return of old friends. Now I'm not going to attack them, I'm going to run away from them. <laughs> like a coward. Right. These are a little bit worse for wear. I've tried killing those. I take more damage than they do. I don't want to lose any more. Go. 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 Don't fall back down there. We just did. We need some food. Jamie! Oh my lord, look at my energy. I'm doing this the hard way. Right. Okay. I think there's more of them. Yeah. I tried. I tried. Another life gone. God, I'm running for it. Right. 
Okay. It's annoying because up here is lots of fruit. Get out of here, Jamie. Get out of there. Look at your energy again. Press up. There we go. I needed it. I got it. Maxed out on the energy front. Life to take a bit of a hit. I don't know what you were thinking there. Right. 70,390. Oh. Get in there! Not over yet! <laughs> right, we have a gallery. Now it might look like this is sort of end of game territory because this is where we find all of the characters that once were under their control, should we say. And now they're not. This is where we see them. Yeah. It's all good at the moment. Now the arcade version is much different at the beginning of the game. The player can choose from one of 28 different levels. Unlike the console versions, the levels are extremely short. And the goal is to get to the end as quickly as possible while trying to get a bonus. Right. Now we've got Climb. Now climbing is not the greatest, but this is very generous with the fruit. And yeah, I might take a few hits, but collecting fruit and vegetables along the way will never be replenished from lost health. Now also, these enemies that are in the water, you can hit them from below. Right, we're nearly there. We're so close now. Press up, climb up, fire to jump. Seven lights. It's not my best. Seventy-one thousand seven hundred forty. Okay, can't be press those and banana man. Still going. So it is quite time consuming. Mm. All you hear is joystick clicking. There we go. We're still going up. And what goes up must come down. There he is, there's the big bad boss. But we're not done yet. One, two, three, four, eggs. We follow them. Right. <laughs> We're getting there, Andreas. We're getting there, mate. Right. Now, all those bosses that we have defeated in the past, we've now got to do again. On we go. At the moment he looks like a statue. Not anymore. The egg will turn him back to how he was at the end of the first world. But it's fine. Same boss, different music. They don't, do by, they don't do things by horse down here. Right, luckily there is some secrets. We love secrets. Break the bricks. Break those blocks. We have fruit. Right, next boss is the goat. Again, same tactic as before. One is good, one is good, not so good. There we go. It's always nice if it's that one closest to you. Yeah, but it is different each time. Mm. 
me to do throw the kitchen sink at you in this game. Right. That's the one you want. Wait patiently, wait for the right time. We pounce like a person who's prey. Nice! Nice! Phase three. Also hit the stars. There we go. Get for real this time. Again, sequence. Look at that. Brilliant. This is most difficult, but no ice this time. So you're not sliding around like there's no tomorrow. I find letting jump like that, if you can get a hit and jump into the air, that way you're in between both of his hands. You're at the right point. Yes, I will take damage. With his hands. It's difficult when he's raising them in the air so often. There we go. And it's not good. We'll change that. And we have some meat. This whole entire world doesn't have a lot of meat. Another life. Bingo. Eight lives. Right, return of Blocky. Do this one better than last time. Side to side, side to side. Bingo! Superb! Absolutely superb! Again, another life too. So good! So good! Another one. That's ten. There we go. Bananas, carrots. Whatever else that thing was, probably a pepper. We're not done yet! <laughs> it's a long level! But we're nearly there! More secrets, we're not done with secrets yet! More hearts! There we go, right, boss! And this one has the ability of all those bosses combined. Now the point you got to hit is very, very minimal. You got to hit that bit on the front. Trouble to bouncing around like Zoe tomorrow. There's some sort of antenna. That's the bit you got to aim for. There's Rocky's boxing gloves. She stops bouncing. We'll go for it. Okay, it could be so much better. Right. How not to do it. There's the ice. Death. Death. It's fine. There we go. Not really done, but I'll take that. It's not done yet, though. Nine lives. Right. Through the door we go. Again, more secrets. Heart. Life. Bingo, 10 lives again. Right. 81,790. 10 lives and the maximum hearts. It's not a happy ending yet. 
Now again, like that last boss, this is the moonwalk. You've got to hit him in exactly the right point. And that point is right on the tip of his nose. You've got to use his attacks to get to higher grounds. There's not many opportunities, but that is the case to get up there. As soon as you get rid of one, another one will arrive almost immediately. boss. We've got him on that on his nose. Nowhere else counts. Right, dog's breakfast of this. No, it's no death. It's fine. That's why I collected all these secrets. See, sometimes you get some simple hitting quite quickly. Why is it the right height at the right time? Teleports as well. Not a bad thing. Gotta get up there. There we go, it's not done yet. Right. Again. Hit him in the nose. Hit him where it hurts. How many hits am I taking here? Woo! Lives have faded away! Got it. In the air! Out of there. Oh, blimey, how difficult was that? Not my best performance. My best performance was ending it with nine lives. I'll take seven, that is good. And that's a long play. Superb. Yeah, it gives him a little kiss. He goes all funny inside. And there we go. The end of the game, people.
there we go. Watch out for BC Kid 2. Unfortunately, it never happened for the Amiga. But there we go. It's a tremendous game. Soy and Juice Divine. It took me so long to do this video, but it's a tough game. But that is BC Kid. Absolutely fantastic game. Apologies about the green screen. It's erased quite a lot of that box. And this is Jamie from Wonders Games. Please like this kind of and share. Please subscribe to my channel, visit the fan page, and scramble some Twitch. Just type in Wonders Games to find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon and notify you because it's low fantastic. A lot of detailed videos you may be making and live streams on Friday night. You can find very clock one of a week. So next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. Okay, we reach high score status, but it doesn't beat my high score. That was my practice round. But that is my long play round. 81,790. There we go. Can't hear anything. Huh? I love this music. It's gonna be tough though. I can do it. I have done it. I've done it three times. One week. Game Super Leads for Turbo Graphics 16 in the US in 1994. No, it was 1992. That's one mistake already. Then the small beats, and you will be invisible. Right. Invincible. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bits of paperwork, and a monitor screen there, two lights, and a fan, and a tremendous game. I hope you can long play for you. What happened? I took my headphones off and it went. Alright, PC kid. Don't crash on me, man. Don't crash on me. Originally called Box Adventure is a 2D platform game for that Right, I've got green screen problems. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, we're going again. This is my second attempt today, because earlier on it was just far too hot. And even the hardware was struggling, the Amiga was struggling, the laptop was struggling, and I was struggling. It was just far too hot. So, joystick. The game was vividly released for the TurboGrafx 16 in the US in 1992 on the gate of the Thunder. The, what? The game was really released for Turbo 16 in the uh, uh, This is going to be a hard day. You ever heard of the song Hard Day's Nights? This is going to be a hard day for me. That's by Rift Company and Atlas. It's the first in the series of the Bog Jamie, you're putting words that don't appear on that piece of paper. Now bear in mind you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits of paper. You've got to read all of them correctly. The Turbo Confess 16 version was later released for the Nintendo Virtual Console service as well as the PlayStation 1 store. Jamie, PlayStation 1 store does not exist. Released in 1989 in Japan and 1990 in North America. Ha! Oh! He! My lord, he has to go very high when you kick the... Uh, 